Let's not even beat around the bush. Takashi 69 writes letter to judge. In letter, it says his baby mama had relations with one of his co-defendants. Yep, that happened. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah so apparently 6 9 wrote a letter to the judge okay real quick because I keep hearing people say acting or pretending like this writing a letter to the judge thing is like some newfangled invention never heard of it before look man I'm letting you know right now your lawyer at times will encourage you to write a letter to the judge these letters help just like letters from let's say your pastor or your family member saying you know what this guy was really a good kid these things can help just so we pretty clear and just so we're sure about this writing a letter to the judge not everybody does it but it's not really some new harebrained scheme it's something people been doing for a while so now, Takashi 69 writes a letter to his judge, right? It says, Dear Judge Inglemeyer, As my sentencing date approaches, I am becoming more and more overwhelmed with emotions. More than anything, I am extremely grateful for this opportunity to express my remorse to you, your honor over this situation. I find it difficult to find the right words to express what my life has been like for the last year. It honestly feels like my world is crashing down. There is no excuse, no justification, and no apology good enough in this world to explain my crimes. While I have been incarcerated, I have had time to reflect on the recklessness and foolishness of my decisions. I wake up every morning asking myself, was it worth it? I know that my life will never be the same, but hopefully this change will be for the better because beyond this, because, pardon me, um, apologies. I know that my life will never be the same, but hopefully this change will be for the better because beyond this, I still consider myself a role model to millions of people as an artist, a celebrity and a human being. I'm happy that the public was able to witness me dealing with the consequences of my actions because I feel like it sheds light on what can ha what can come from gang affiliation. I know that this is part of the plan that God has for me and I am confident and I am ready to face this thing head on. Before my arrest, I publicly disassociated myself from Nine Trey, but I knew that it would come with a price. I knew from previous incidents that the gang would retaliate against me for denouncing them in public. Prior to my arrest, I was kidnapped by members of the gang, became aware of the fact that my that the mother of my child was having sexual relations with one of my co-defendants, that they were stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars from me, I had a feeling of the relief when I was arrested. I had a feeling of relief when I was arrested by the government because I felt stuck, like the gang had control of my life and I, I would never be able to escape their grip. I needed to do something before it was too late. I realized that I placed myself in a position with the choices that I made. I know that I am not a victim because my actions contributed to this mess. I have had plenty of time to reflect and since the time of my arrest, I have asked myself, are you remorseful because of what had what happened or because you were caught? I now know that I am remorseful for what happened because I was blessed with the gift of an opportunity that most people dream of, but I squandered it by getting involved with the wrong people and misrepresenting myself when I should have been true to myself and my fans. I am sorry to the victims who are affected by my actions, to my fans 
who look up to me and were misled, to my family who depends on me, to the courtroom for this mess that I contributed to. I'm truly sorry for the harm that I have caused. If given a second chance, I will not let this court down and I will dedicate a portion of my life for helping others not make the same mistakes that I've made. Sincerely, Daniel Hernandez. First of all, I was like, he should have been like, sincerely, 6 9 stupid. That would have been so funny. It probably wouldn't have helped. Like, that would have just effed up the whole letter if he would have did that. <laughs> the judge would have said, huh? It would have, but it would have been funny as hell. Anyway, that's not the point. Um, Let's go to the thing that everybody wants to talk about. We already know what the big topic of discussion is. A couple of months ago, I put out a video, right? I don't know if it was uh, about six, seven months ago. And I said, in November, basically the hammer was going to drop. Right? 6 9 court date was moved back, I believe. But the hammer has dropped in December. One of the biggest accusations that have been floating around has now been at least from the position from the perception or, or the position of 6ix9ine has been verified. 6ix9ine wholeheartedly believes that his baby mama slept with a member, a co-defendant of his. Obviously, at the time that they slept together, they weren't co um that uh, that six nines baby mama and uh the co defendant at the time that they slept together, they weren't co defendants. They weren't yet arrested. I guess they were co conspirators at that point. I don't know, but I told y'all that in November it was gonna drop. It dropped in December. So my apologies for being late, or should I say, for missing the mark by a couple of days. I've been correct so often with some of these things that sometimes when I'm incorrect, I feel like I've letting you, I've let everyone down. I knew that this was coming. I can't explain to you how I knew that this was coming. Let's just say I knew that this was coming and leave it at that. But I knew that this was coming and there's more to come for everybody that doesn't know. There is a lot more to come. Um, I'm very happy that I wasn't the one who exposed this I'm very happy that I wasn't the one that put this out there because at the end of the day I don't think that um, I'm in the right position to be talking about some other some females uh, body parts but now that 6 9 has put this out there this is up for discussion and up for debate just so we could be clear Okay, so um, 6 9 at the time of his arrest, he only had one baby mama we knew about. I'm not going to call her by name. I do not want my video flagged. I'm also, this is not hate on her. At this point, these are still just accusations by him. But let's be perfectly honest. He wrote a letter to the judge. The judge is privy to information that we also don't have. Like the audio tape that 6 9 heard. That convinced him that he was being, that his co-defendant was sleeping with the mother of his daughter. The judge is privy to that information. The judge would know that if he was, you know, lying about that. Because obviously 6 9 has already came forward and said that the FBI let him listen to tapes. And this information was, was, was given to him. On tapes So this is something that That's how 6 9 found out about this The fact that he put this in the letter To the judge To me Solidifies this as a fact I don't think 6 9 is foolish enough To put something in a letter That the judge can easily disprove and know that he's lying and he is not remorseful with that being said i think everybody that was all over um dj academics owes him an apology because if 6ix9ine is his homeboy like we all believe that he is then yes he should really dislike 6ix9ine's baby mama that was sleeping 
with these allegations you know six nines made these allegations with his co-defendant who at that time was his brother in blood if i think that's how the term goes so yes some people might owe academics an apology <laughs> that sounds weird to say <laughs> just i'm just keeping it a stack let me know what y'all guys think about this um i think the fact that he put this in the letter kind of solidifies this as it's solidifies this is fact um i'm pretty sure plenty of people won't care you you feel me i'm pretty sure a ton of people won't care I'm pretty sure if she came out and said she did it, a ton of people wasn't going to care. I'm going to tell you something right now. I think that if she actually did do this, I'm not saying that she did. I'm saying 6 9 believes that she did. I'm saying it's a fact that 6 9 believes that she did. I believe 6 9 on this for the simple fact that I don't think that he would have put this in a letter where he's trying to become a free man. And then you're lying in a letter where you're trying to become a free man. It, it, especially since his... um reason for knowing this is because it was a wiretap that he overheard so i'm pretty sure that that would easily be able to be found out by the judge that he's lying because the judge can be able to have access to all wiretaps i just wanted to like very clearly explain that so when the people pop up in the comment section i've already explained it so they they just gonna look stupid that was a joke anyway uh, the point that I wanted to make about this is 6 9 right? If she would have, pardon me, if, if, Sarah, if 6 9s baby mama would have came out and said that she did this 8, 9, 10 months ago, if she would have exposed this, spoke about this herself, talked about this herself, she could have then controlled the narrative. So him coming out and saying something like this now wouldn't mean anything. We'd have already have been, um, how do you say, uh, we would have already, you know, been open to the idea of it. If she did do this, by her not coming out at some point, she had to have known at some point 6 9 was going to bring it up as soon as he was let free, as soon as he had the opportunity. By her not trying to control the narrative, she actually gave power to him. For everybody that don't know how media works, for her not trying to control the narrative, she, in my opinion, if this is correct, she's hurt herself more than she's helped herself. Um, I don't know. I would love to talk to her about it. I'm pretty sure she's not going to. And to be honest with you, at this point, I don't think she should talk about this. But now knowing this, go back and look at that Vlad interview. Let's see if you have the same feelings about what she's saying and how she's talking. With that being said, leave it down in the comment section. I want to know what you guys think about this. Please, no disrespecting this lady. No disrespecting this woman. Uh, can we leave all the B words and the, you know, the dirtiest, whatever y'all want to call her. Can we leave all of that to the side and we uh, speak about this um, in an intelligent manner and not trying to, uh, you know, bash or, or destroy this woman's uh, uh, verbally because there's really no need for that. But I do want to know what y'all guys think about this because now that, you know, it's going to be exposed one way or the other. I want to know how do y'all see 6 9 He said they were stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars from him in the same exact paragraph. And one sentence after he said his co-defendant and his baby mama were sleeping together. So when he say they, is he saying the baby mama and the co-defendant were all the they that were stealing the money? Think about it. It's right there in front of you. Read it yourself. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. 
If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.